A question that's appearing in more and more exam papers are questions which relate to density, mass and volume. What's really important about these questions is that you have to remember the density, mass, volume relationship in order to access sometimes even any of the marks. Very often these are on big five or six mark questions. The question here has got a block with a mass of 2,160 grams and it wants to know its density. I can also see that on this block there's some units in centimetres and some in metres but I'll come on to that in a minute. So the first thing we need to recall on any of these questions which involve density is the density mass volume triangle, DMV. It's like the speed distance time triangle but it's used for density mass and volume. So as always we cover up the part of the triangle that we're trying to find out and in this case as we want to calculate the density we cover that up. We're left with the mass on the top and the volume on the bottom and as always with these triangles it's a divide when the unknown that we're trying to find out is on the bottom. So I'm going to have to work out the mass and the volume, do my division to work out the density. Well the mass is actually given in the question. Now the volume I'll have to work out. The volume of course is the height of the block times the width of the block times the length or the depth of the block. One slight problem in this question is that the units are in centimetres for the height and width, but in metres for the length. So I'm just going to change that length into centimetres to 120 centimetres. OK, so the volume of that block will be 3 times 20. That's the area at the end, and I'm going to then multiply that by the length or the depth, which is 120. which gives me 7,200, and that will be centimetres cubed. OK, so the density is mass divided by volume. So now I'll do that calculation, that the density is mass divided by the volume. So the mass in the question is 2,160. The volume, which we've just worked out, is 7,200. And calculating this on a calculator gives me the answer of 0.3. Now the unit of this question is mass divided by volume, so the mass is grams per centimetres cubed. Now very often the units will be given to you on the answer line, but what's really important on these questions is you remember the density mass volume pyramid, because that will help you with all the, all the parts of the question. OK, here's a question for you to try. Absolutely bog standard part A, and then a bit of a problem solving part B. Pause now before we go through the answer. OK, so on this question we want to work out the volume, and it's to do with density, so I'm going to recall the density mass volume triangle. Now, I'm given the mass, I'm given the density, and I want to work out the volume, so I'll cover it up. And this time I'm left with mass divided by density. So the volume is the mass divided by the density. So the mass is 600, the density is 6, and on my calculator, or in this case in my head, 600 divided by 6 is 100. Again, I'm wanting to work out the volume, there's always a clue in the question about the units. It's telling me here that this volume is centimetres cubed. OK, hence work out the length of side x. Well, if the volume of this prism below is 100 centimetres cubed, that would mean, as in the previous question, that this height times this width times this depth will have to multiply to make 100. So x times by 10 times by 5 would be the volume, which would equal 100, because we've just worked out that the volume is 100. Well, we know that 10 times 5 is 50. So x, or our mysterious number, times by 50 needs to be 100. Dividing by 50, we know that x is 2. we can check that works, 2 times 10 is 20, 
times by 5 makes 100.